there with the airs and the weird double yeah. steal. I yeah, guess. I thought uh, I thought he threw the I thought he threw the ball fine. Uh, you know, stuff was good. Um, I really liked the breaking ball today. I think the breaking ball had good finish to it. It was sharp. I thought that uh, his fastball had had good life to it. Uh, so the velocity was there. Uh, I think there was a couple misses, uh, but overall the you know the second inning got away from us a little bit. You know he didn't make a play on the little short comebacker, and uh, we didn't execute a, a double steal situation. Uh, but those are you know learning experience for our catchers and, and middle infielders. But overall, I thought Antonio uh, threw the ball well. What is it? Run, he, he said it was just a hanging slider, but outside of that one. He thought his, like you mentioned, he thought his his slider was yeah. was good. Slider today. was good, and you know made some pitches with the fastball. So uh, on balance, I think there was a lot of positives p to pull away from from this one for Antonio. How much has he grown just as a professional? I mean, basically, he told us exactly, almost word for word, what you said. The fact yeah. that he can, you know, self evaluate and understand what was right and what wasn't. Well, again, I think all those younger pitchers who got their first taste of, the, of first taste of the major leagues last year. I think they've learned a lot. So I think self-evaluation is a, a skill that all good players have, where they can really look at a uh, an outing, uh, a game, and really break it down and and, and look at it honestly. Uh, really, how about how they did? And I think you know Antonio does a very good job of that. We forgot to ask you this morning about Tom Murphy. After uh, the you know Tom Tom feels good. It looks as though he'll be in there tomorrow. We had him in there originally, but you know we decided just let's just wait one more day just to make sure uh, that he's you know clear-minded and, and feels good. He you know he passed all the concussion protocols the other day, but we're being you know we're being cautious as we should at, at this point of the spring training. On that double steal, what what happened or what was supposed to happen? Uh, well, we have a we have a play that's designed to to stop that. <laughs> Question about uh, Ramel Tapia. He got picked off today. We've talked a lot this spring about his speed, his potential as a base. Is he still a work in progress in terms of? Well, you know that's that's great. No, well, here's the deal. I think you know we're 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 challenging Ramil and all our guys to get good leads that they're uncomfortable with. So, you know, we're we're testing their limits. So this is you know this is an environment where you have to. We talk about that every day. Sure. So, you know, with Ramil because you know base stealing is a part of his game. The uh, you know, the testing your limits on leads, uh, you know, testing your limits on going first to third, uh, testing your limits uh, when we're on third on the contact play, how far can we get down the line and, and, really, and really challenge ourselves. That's what our players are doing. you got to do that. So, so come a couple weeks now when the regular season's uh, upon us, you know, they're, they're more comfortable in getting an extended lead but still have the ability to get back. So they're sort of, you know, seeing how far they can do things and, and what they can do and feel comfortable with uh, as we move into the regular season. Anything else? Thanks, buddy. Thank you.